Hey Lash Babes, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Yoyis and on my channel, I teach you guys everything about lash extensions. I highly recommend for you guys to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all my social media so you guys never miss any lash content. Not only that, I'm very active on Instagram and TikTok as well, so I will have my socials linked for you guys down below. In today's video, I am super, super excited. I'm actually really nervous about doing this video because this has been a long and awaited product that I've been wanting to launch for a while. We had a few hiccups with testing the product and then the product getting here and it was not up to quality. So we are so, so, so excited to finally announce a new product that is hitting the market that is going to change the way that you do your wispy sets. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. If you guys don't know, I am like a wispy queen. I love doing wispy lashes. That is what I'm known for. I have so many tutorials here on my YouTube channel and I do have an online wispy styling masterclass. If you guys are interested, if you're having any issues with your wispy set. But now that I launched this product, I feel like I need to redo my wispy styling course because this right here is going to change the way you do wispy sets. If you are the kind of person that struggles picking up those spikes and then they fan out, then this product is gonna be for you. This is one thing too that I teach a lot to my students is that when you are trying to learn how to do spikes to create those wispy sets, wispy textured, whatever you wanna call them. It is so much harder because before, we had a hard time trying to keep our fans open. Now we're having a hard time trying to keep our spikes closed. So spikes are technically fans unfanned, they're just closed fans. So with this product, I know I've been talking about, it, I haven't even shown you guys. So they are called, easy spikes i am telling you guys i'm so 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 excited about this because this is going to change everything it's going to change the way you lash completely so i'm going to do a close-up video here for you guys so you guys can finally see the product in all its glory so i do have them coming out in c cc curl and d curl as well so again they're called easy spikes and the packaging itself is so cute. So we actually are rebranding. So my old logo is no more. I do have quite a few product with my old logo, but the new products that are coming out are gonna have my new logo. I'm super excited about that. So they're called Easy Spikes. When you think of an Easy Spike, you automatically think of like, oh, it's gonna be really easy to create. But when working with this product right here, there's the correct way of using it. So in a bit, I'm going to show you guys how to correctly use these lashes. If you are a beginner lash artist and if you do not understand, there is such a thing as an easy fan type of lash, which I'm not going to show you guys here. I am not actually, I'm not the biggest fan, but with an easy fan, it is supposed to help you make effortless fans a lot quicker. The only difference is that they are already pre glued at the bottom make, making the basis stick so if you're somebody who is having issues with fans staying open i highly recommend for you guys to check out my online volume course not only that your tweezers are probably the problem if you're using high quality tweezers then it can be the way that you're holding your tweezers and you're probably not putting enough pressure to keep those fans open. So I know this is the re biggest reason why a lot of beginner lash artists jump onto using easy fan lashes because when you pull them off the strip, they're supposed to automatically bloom and fan out themselves. Me personally, I don't like them because the base again is very bulky. I don't like that. So easy spikes kind of are similar to that within the pre-glued bases. So it's going to keep your spike like a spike by the time that you pull it off. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean in a second. And half of the time we end up using like a product, maybe a primer or super bonder to kind of seal the lashes at the top to make sure that they stay like a spike. I don't personally like that very bold spiky look because then it's a lot of product you're using on your client's lashes. And it's, it's a very particular look. Normally, if you're going for like a really wet, spiky, like a wet set look, 
then that's what you would do is use product on the lashes to give you that very dramatic spiky look me personally for my wispy sets i like more of a textured top give it a little more softness especially when we're doing like a mega volume or like an angel eye styling the tops are still supposed to be a little more feathered and just fluffy okay but still giving it that spiky look without it being super pointy. So these lashes right here are going to give you that fluffy top. If you like the spiky wet look, then you can still add product to it and it'll make them just, it'll just give you that look that you are going for. But the only difference is that they are semi pre-glued at the bottom. So that means that those bases are going to fully stay close. So sometimes when you are trying to create spikes, it's hard because we try to stay focused on keeping the bases closed and the tops close as well. But with this, we're only going to have to focus on the tips. And it just makes everything so much easier for you guys. I'm telling you guys, this is going to change the way that you lash and create those spikes. So my trays do come in mixed trays. So at the moment right now, we only have have mixed trays and they go from lengths 11 through 18 millimeters I know some of you like more of a longer look you guys like a little more drama so I decided to go a little bit longer with the lengths and if you guys would like for me to come out with shorter lengths let me know I will definitely come up with shorter lengths in these types of trays I'm just super excited guys you have no idea the first batch of trays that we got was a huge disappointment and I was so sad because it just it it wasn't what it was supposed to initially be and I'm just like, man, like this is going to change the game. Like, why is this product not coming out good? It happens. You know, it happens when you are testing product. Sometimes when you get it in, it's just it, the quality is not there. So I made sure that the product was going to be perfect and easy to use for anybody. Doesn't matter if you're a beginner lash artist or an advanced lash artist. This product right here is going to be a game changer for you. Okay, so I know I've been rambling. I'm just super excited. Now let's jump into the part where I show you guys how to properly use this product products and how to create beautiful spikes effortlessly okay so before we get started i'm going to talk about the products that i'm going to be using today so for the adhesive i'm going to be using my obsessed adhesive this is a 0.3 to a 0.5 second dry time glue so it is super super fast perfect for intermediate to advanced lash artists if you're a beginner lash artist i recommend to opt out for using my bestie adhesive this is a two second dry time glue which will be perfect for you if you're still learning how to make fans and still learning how to make spikes but for today i'm going to be using obsessed because i'm a little on the faster side okay so for the tweezers i'm going to be using my new inspired tweezer this is a long isolation tweezer with a skinny tip 45 degree angle isolation it's just perfect to really anchor down on those lashes and the tweezer i'm going to be using to pick up the lashes is called that girl this one is such a game changer for creating fans and also creating spikes this has been my go-to tweezer so this tweezer in specific is a mini crane tweezer hands down such a perfect tweezer for again creating lashes and just picking up lashes okay so I'm going to show you guys the difference between my regular royal cashmere lashes these are cashmere lashes they're super fluffy hands down the best lashes to create fans these ones are 0.03 so i'm going to be using them to create mega volume fans i'm also going to show you guys how i use these type of lashes to create my spikes but then i'm also going to be comparing it to my easy spikes and show you guys how much easier it is to use these type of lashes to create spikes it's just oh my god you guys are gonna see the biggest difference okay so let me just set up my tile i do have my royal cashmere lashes already on here let me just end up putting these ones for you guys so i'm gonna put these ones at the bottom so you guys can see the difference Okay, so these lashes are actually a lot 
darker and denser and they have more of a wet look as you can tell these ones are a little more fluffy they're just softer these ones are actually soft too but they're more on the darker side and you could just tell how different they are from each other okay so i'm going to start off by showing you guys how to do spikes using my regular royal cashmere lashes let me zoom in on you guys okay so i'm going to start off with 15 millimeter i believe this is a d curl 0.03 d curl yes okay so usually what i like to do is i'll come in and because it is a 0.03 i can pick up a little more lashes if i'm going to be doing like a mega volume fluffy look then i'll come in and pick up more lashes when it comes to spikes you always want to pick them up a lot higher because you'll be able to have more control of them staying close together if you're somebody that has been picking up your spikes all the way at the bottom and then wondering why they're opening up that is the biggest reason why okay so to avoid that we're going to be picking it up way higher and then what i silly what i actually like to do is my tweezers i'm not going to fully close them let me see can you focus hello okay so i'm actually not going to fully close them i'm actually just going to pitch pinch them lightly that way the tips come together what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to slide my tweezers to the right if your left hand is going to be to the left but again your tweezers are always going to be on your dominant hand so i'm going to slide my tweezers slightly to the right making them all come together at the tip this is actually going to push the tips together giving it that closed effect that we want let me see focus okay so again i'm going to come in and pick up a few lashes and then i'm going to start closing my tweezer and making the bases come together so again i'm slightly bringing my tweezer this way hoping that the lashes are going to end up pushing together because of the pressure of the tips of my tweezers okay and then once they look like they've come together they look like a spike i'm going to put full pressure on my tweezer and then i'm going to pull okay and you see how the bases are a little like fluffy then i'm going to come in dip it in the adhesive and then fix them using my flower cup. If you are not using flower cups, girl, you are missing out. It is a huge game changer. It's gonna help when creating those fans. It's just gonna be an overall lifesaver. So as you can see, this is how I like to create my spikes. It gives it a little bit of a softer top, but my overall focus is to make it look like it's an unopened fan, okay? So this is using my 0.03 mega volume the royal cashmere lashes this is how i normally do my spikes if you want to give it more of a spiky look then you can go in with primer or super bonder and just give it more of a wet look but me personally i only do that for like a wet set other than that i kind of stay away from product because i do like more of a fluffy look so my easy spikes are going to give you that fluffy look but if you do want it to be more spiky, wet looking, then you could go ahead and use product on them as well. So I'm going to zoom in on these lashes right here so you guys can really see the effect of the difference, okay? So let me just show you guys again using my 0 0.03. So I'm going to pick them up, slide them to the side, okay? And you see how it already comes off looking spiky? That's what we want our lashes to look. And it also comes down to the kind of tweezers that you're using. So you see how it opened up just a little bit? We want to avoid that, okay? So the how I'm gonna show you guys how to avoid that is using my new Easy Spike Lashes. So with these ones, they are a little bit trickier to work with because again, they already come pre-glued at the base. So the only thing we do now only have to worry about is just the top obviously that's what we are focusing that's what we tend to focus on when we are creating spikes but when you're using the right lashes it just makes it so much easier okay and using the correct tweezers helps out so much i'm telling you guys it makes a huge difference 
I'm going to show you guys using a different tweezer how, how much harder it is to create the type of tweezer you are using makes a huge difference so I'm just gonna go in and show you guys using this different kind of tweezer you see how it's like already wanting to open up we don't want that okay so let me try to do my technique and obviously it's not working it's not pushing the lashes together you see how it's like just kind of doing its own thing you see the lashes pulling back we don't want that so if you're having issues just like this then i recommend for you guys to try out my tweezers all of my products are on my yoyis plus so the only way you could get my products is exclusively through my yoyis plus lash membership you get discounts on my products you get free shipping within the states and you also get access to my online courses everything that you can think of is included on my lash membership for only $19.99 like are you kidding me that is great i wish when i was a beginner there was something like this because i definitely would have been a lot further having the right guidance and the right tools so if you are somebody who is wanting high quality products Products at an affordable price I recommend for you guys to sign up to Yoyis Plus I'm gonna have the link in the description for you guys okay so now jumping into my easy spikes as you can tell they're kind of a little they're not as fluffy like you can see like how this one it's easy for me to kind of just come in wherever and you see how they're just like so fluffy with the easy spikes they are more put together like you can see they're not fluffy i don't recommend for you guys to fluff these out normally with my regular cashmere lashes especially with like 0.03s or 0.05s you want to brush them out because you want to be able to create beautiful fluffy fans like you see how it's easy for me to just create effortless fans using my 0.03 like that's what we want we want easy lashes that will fan out effortlessly you see how it's so easy for me to create those fans with my easy spikes we want the complete opposite so that's why they are pre-glued giving you that thick chunky bold spike okay so let me show you guys what you do not want to do when using these lashes because it's going to give you a lot of headaches and then you're going to think that the product is bad but in reality we just need to work with it and make it work okay so when you were when if you were just to come in and pull off the lashes like you see how effortless like th okay this was a bad example but a good example of how it's supposed to look but not the example i was trying to give <laughs> but like you see how like it's just effortless like you see that like it's just it stays of a spike like I, I'm telling you guys, I was just so excited because I wish there was something like this when I was learning how to do spikes. Like, it just stays a spike. Like, can you see that? I let go of it, the lashes are not falling, and it's staying closed as a spike. Like, this right here is just, it's a game changer. I'm so excited. You guys need this product. Now you don't have to go in and dip it in the glue to crystallize it to keep the spike closed. You can literally let go of it, and boom, it's going to stay just how you want it. Okay, so now let me show you the example that I was trying to give you guys. So if I were to come in, okay, no, it's still doing it they're so good <laughs> okay this one is obviously a bit chunkier and it's still a little it's looking a little fluffy at the top but you see how it's still staying a spike oh so good okay let me try to do this section right here okay this section okay so i'm gonna come in pull and you see how it's starting to pull that section next to it okay obviously still a good example coming together okay you see they're just effortless i don't have to do nothing nothing else like ugh, i'm just i'm just so happy with this product you guys have no idea okay right here hopefully this right here can show you guys okay so you see how the product is starting to come with it sometimes you will have lashes that will come with the spike if you're having issues with more lashes coming with it and it's like kind of just sticking off to the side i recommend for you guys to bring your tweezer all the way down to the sticky part and kind of just force to separate them a little bit you see how i'm separating them 
And then I'm gonna come in and usually do my technique to keep the spikes a little bit more blunt at the top. And you see, beautiful, oh my God. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but like, I'm just so excited about this product. You guys have no idea. And this video has been going on for forever, but like, I need to just vent about how this product's gonna be revolutionary, especially when it comes to wispy sets. I'm just, I'm just so amazed. I'm so happy. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this product. It's literally going to change the way you lash. Okay, you see how that lash is coming? You see, like, let me pull it off and it's gonna come with it. Okay, you see how it came off with it? Okay, we don't want that. So that's why I was recommending for you guys to like really separate it. So like bring your tweezer all the way down to the base and then separate the lashes, okay? Then it's gonna come off on its own. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, or if you guys would like to try my products and start making effortless wispy sets using my Easy Spikes, then sign up to Yoist Plus. You guys have nothing to lose for only $19.99. And discounts on my products, like you guys have no idea what you guys are missing out. Okay, so let me come in and show you guys. Okay, so I'm isolating. I'm gonna come in and pick up a spike, dip it in the glue, don't have to do nothing special, come in, hold the spike for a couple of seconds, I'm right under the vent guys and my AC is on so this is why my adhesive is not drying. So this just shows you if your lash bed is under your ventilation, your AC, and your adhesive is not drying, then it can be for that, okay? So we just placed the one spike. Okay, let's do that one. Come in, dip it, bring it in, hold it for a few seconds, let it fully dry, and again, my AC is messing up my glue, but we're working with it. Oh my god, these spikes are so effortless. Oh, I just love it so much. Look at that. Boom. Do you see that lash moving? That's my AC. That's why it's not drying. <laughs> so let me actually move this up so you guys can see that I'm not cheating in any way, okay? So I'm gonna come in, pick up my spike, boom, came off perfectly, dip it in the adhesive, come and place it. And then I'm going to have to hold it a little bit longer than usual because, again, my AC is messing up my adhesive. But, like, do you guys see how effortless it is that I'm creating these spikes without having to sit here and fuss with it? Usually, when I'm using, like, my Royal Cashmere Lashes to create my spikes, it takes me a little bit longer because I have to manually go in with my tweezer and then create the spike and then i'll have to go and dip it in the adhesive and then also dip it and in one to the into one of these grooves to fully close the base that way it stays like that so let me show you guys the difference of when i actually go in and use my regular lashes so i'm going to come in and then i'm going to kind of tilt my tweezer to the side to make sure that the tip is fully closed. And then I'm gonna pull it, the bases are starting to separate, so I'm gonna dip it in the adhesive. Then I slide it in one of these grooves. So technically I'm like crystallizing it, that way it does not open. And even then, sometimes this technique will not be 100% perfect because sometimes it will end up opening up on myself. So I'm gonna dip it again and then bring it in place it and half of the time the spike will end up opening up a little bit at the top but again i like more of a fluffy look so it's not that bad 
I've I've had years of experience to do it but let me just show you guys the difference so these ones right here are the easy spikes you see how effortless it was for me to create them and then this little one right here is the one that I did using my royal cashmere lashes which gives it more of a fluffy look let me shut the blind so you guys can see a little bit better so it still looks pretty similar, but again, it's because I've had years of years of experience to perfect my spikes. But like you see how much these ones look a little more bolder, more dense, and they just look so effortless. I am obsessed with this. I hope this was a good representation of how effortless these spikes are so easy to use i could have easily done the pre-made spikes that everybody else has but it's just more money for less spikes and i like this a lot better because it's a regular lash tray like you would never know that these are easy spikes if you were to not even know what they were but the fact that you get more product for your money and again if you sign up to uas plus you do get my products at such an affordable price and free shipping if you're within the states you're saving so much money i'm putting more money back in your pocket i'm telling you guys it's the best thing that's happened to the lash industry other than this product too so if you guys would like to get my products you know where to go get them so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye